What's going on everyone? I've got Grizzly updates for you. You know, I'm adding a third motor to the Aerial Grizzly. We're putting a BBSO2 mid-drive motor on the Grizzly. So it'll have three motors trying to amp up the power. And as with any, you know, one of a kind custom project, I'm running into some issues I gotta troubleshoot. So I'm gonna give you a quick update today. Hopefully, hopefully I will get this bike functioning today. Right now it's not really functioning 100%. I'm having problems with the speed sensor. So I'm gonna show you the solutions I'm trying to come up with, hopefully it works. And also too, if you have a better solution for me or an idea how I can bypass this speed sensor, I want you to add that to the comment section. So let me show you where things stand right now. All right, so here is the current status of my Aerial Grizzly. The motor is completely installed. That was super simple. That was the easiest part. Putting this in the bottom bracket, so, so easy. I just watched like the regular Bafang install thing and followed that. and. Went right in there, no problems. You know, took out this out of the bottom bracket. I lost my stock pedal assist. That doesn't fit back on, but I won't need it. But the motor is in there. It looks fantastic, honestly. It, it is made, made to fit right in there. It perfectly lines up. And it's just so you know, it's a hundred millimeter. That's what that's the one you gotta buy, the hundred mm. That's what fits this bottom bracket. Anyway, the problem I'm having is this motor will run but it stops running after a while. It gives you an error 21H code, which is for the speed sensor, which is this thing right here. And first issue I had was the wire that comes back from the motor. And you're supposed to clip this on the frame. That wire really wasn't long enough to fit on the Grizzly nicely. So I ordered a wire extension. So now I've got tons of slack here to play with to try to get this lined up. And that's my issue, trying to get this speed sensor thing lined up because they give you this little magnet, right? This right here, this thing. You're supposed to put this on the spokes and then these two things cross each other as the wheel turns and it shows the bike that the wheel's turning and gives it the speed. But the problem is I can't get this magnet close enough to the speed sensor. You can see how these spokes are kind of set back in from the edge of the wheel. So there's a good distance there. And this thing only extends out so far. So if I clip this on the spoke right here, they don't even get close to each other. I mean, they gotta be within like a couple millimeters of each other and they're like three quarters of an inch off. <laughs> so there's just no way, there's no way I can clip this on the spoke and get it close enough to this to pick up the speed. The spokes are just too far away. And this Grizzly bike, you know, I mean, it's really not built for this. I mean, these motors are supposed to go in like a regular bike with a regular bike frame. So trying to clip the speed sensor on this massive frame, and really I need it further back here, but I can't because it's just like a solid metal plate. So what I've done, you can kind of see my fix already, is I've mounted this right here. So it's super close to the, the rim. The little sensor is right there. And what I did was I, instead of using this magnet that goes in the spokes, I just took a refrigerator magnet. <laughs> Let me find it. Where is it? Right here. I took a refrigerator magnet and I gorilla glued it to the edge of the rim. And that passes close enough right here to the sensor. They're within a, you know, a couple millimeters of each other and it functions. I mean, it activates the sensor. So I think this is going to work. As long as that magnet will stay on the rim, I don't know if Gorilla Glue is going to hold a magnet to metal. I may put a piece of tape over there just to reinforce it as well. And is that magnet going to stay on there at 35 miles an hour? I have no idea, but it seems I'm waiting for it to dry. I did it last night. It's the morning now. It should be set, should be dried. So we're going to try to test it later today. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like my solution? Magnet glued to the rim. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. How else can I do this? I, can, I can't get this thing close. I'd have to build like my own custom bracket, drill it into the frame, something to get this closer. I don't know. That's my idea, my fix. It seems to be working. They get really close to each other. So there you go. That's where I stand. What I really want to know from you guys is, do you have something better than this, a better idea? Or is there a way to completely bypass this speed sensor. The motor won't run without this hooked up. It just gives me that code, 21H. 
can I totally bypass this? Because I don't even want it. I could care less if the bike shows my speed. I just want to eliminate this. I don't even, I don't want this on the frame. I don't care about the speed on the screen. I've got another display for that. Is there a way to bypass this? So the motor will, will run and give power without the speed sensor. If you're an expert in mid drives, let me know. I'm, to me, that seems like a poor design. I don't understand that. I mean, what if you're out in the woods and you smack this on a log or a tree and you break this speed sensor or you're, you didn't have your magnet on your spokes tight enough and it flew off in the woods, you're done. Your motor doesn't function. Like what a bad design. It just won't run. That's crazy to me. Several drawbacks. You, people ask why I don't do more mid drives on the channel. There's a lot of drawbacks to them. I mean, here's one. <laughs> if this thing breaks or falls off, you're, you're sunk. Your motor doesn't work. If you break your chain, your motor doesn't work. You know, uh, your speed and your power is totally dependent upon your gearing. The hubs are just a lot simpler. That's kind of why I like those, but the, these do have way more torque. That's a ton of torque. So I'm excited to see if I can get this working today, what that torque feels like when you have three motors pulling you off the line. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit longer, maybe slap a piece of tape over it. And we're gonna go try it and see. And then, you know, once I get, get it to the point where I think it's functioning, well and i you know i've got some other things i'm going to do to this bike before i reveal the finished product and i'll give you all the performance testing and everything so that's where we stand right now our homemade magnet setup actually worked so it's functioning now and i can ride it so let me show you we're just going to hit our throttle there you go baby functioning mid-drive let's just go do one or two launches Look at that motor hiding in there. You can barely see it from this side, honestly. It's a pretty clean look. And we got it all wired back into our uh, battery bag. Got a battery hiding inside there. And from the other side, let's check it out over here. It looks like it's just made to be there. It's, it fits so perfectly, it's so clean. But I'll give you more looks at it later after I finish this. We're just out doing our initial testing now that we've got it functioning. Let's do just a couple launches real quick. That was a pretty sick launch. More to come on this triple motorbike very soon.